basically they had a panel of people that have been boondocking for years and it was just a free-for-all question and answer period along these roads we roam we find adventure through traveling camping boondocking and exploring hello everybody and welcome to vlogcast episode number 90 my name is russ i'm carrie and we are the roads we roam we're a couple living full-time in our little guy max and this is day three here at the Escapees Escapade 59th Annual. We are having a blast all week this week. We are giving a daily update of what's been going on, what we've been doing, and how we see it through the eyes of newbies, all this new stuff that we're learning. Yeah. And so we're glad to have you along, and then we'll resume next week because typically this would be our news day, but the news today is the 59th Annual <laughs> Escapees Escapade. Yeah, the news all week is that. I was really, really happy. Look, we got fancy official name badges yesterday. Yes, we Whoa. did. And then each year you go, look what you get. You get a new one of these. So we're looking forward to number two. So we've got a second tier. Yeah, we're gonna, Russ was so serious about this. He's like, we should buy dedicated vests that we, <laughs> we can get. He's hey, it's laughing the, because he's dead. It's that. the military man in me. Right now, I'm just a, a low ranker, but here pretty soon I'm going to have like you know, a whole chest of them down here. I'm going to be like 80 and I'll be the most decorated escapee in the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Besides Carrie, because Carrie will be just as decorated as me. <laughs> but we were very happy to get our new name badges. Speaking about heroes, yes. today is Heroes Day, escapees. I really like that they do this. Yeah. Basically what it is, is you can wear a shirt. This is an old one. It's the only shirt I have, but this is back when it was Army Air Corps before it was Air Force. Carrie and I are both Air Force. So they invite veterans to wear a shirt uh, representing their service, or if you're a first responder, representing their first responders, or if you have a family member that you think that is a hero because they're in the service or first responders, you can wear that. And I guess really, if you don't have any of that, wear red, white, or blue. Yeah. So it's really neat, you know, and going back to our first night when we were here, they asked all the uh, first responders, fire, police, you know, medical, uh, service members to stand up and they gave us all a huge there round of applause. There were quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that being said, what is it with former law enforcement becoming full-time RVers. That's right. Most of our instructors are formal <laughs> law enforcement. You talk to a lot of guys out there. Every every RV park we've been to, this place is no exception. We run into all these retired. So if you are a full-time RVer, you should feel very safe <laughs> because there are a ton of the men in blue in and among the ranks. And so. <laughs> if you are tr are thinking of preying on any of the uh, RVers out there, beware because oh, they're you're... probably armed and they know how to protect <laughs> themselves. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> uh, so yesterday, while Russ was hard at work, oh, it was horrible. You know, that's the only. <laughs> I like the income from working, uh, but I miss a lot of these great seminars. So Carrie got to go to all the seminars while I was hard at work. So why don't you tell us what you did? Look what he missed out on. <laughs> I know. I went to the Battleborn Lithium session, which I learned so much that. If I tried to do it now, it would take up this entire time. So I'm mm -hmm. going to do a separate one, just kind of outlining what they did. And the owner, the CEO, Dennis, he is just brilliant. Yeah. I mean, he was a, a chemical engineering PhD uh, from Caltech. And he just explained the ins and outs and how lithium batteries work and the justification for the cost. And believe it or not, they actually wind up in the long run being cheaper than your traditional uh, batteries. Yeah. So lots and lots of great information on there. And then the one Russ was really jealous about was the boondocking panel. Well, back up here real quick. You oh. told me an interesting thing. Where did they get their name Battleborn from? Battleborn because they are based in Nevada, which is the Battleborn state. Yeah, I didn't Trivia know that. for the day. I didn't <laughs> know that. I just thought it was Battleborn, like we're rough and tough. You know, we, we can handle any, any environment you're in. So, uh, and one last thing, we have run into several people that have the Battleborn batteries. Mm -hmm. Every single person has talked about how great their customer service is. Yeah. Uh, the people there are fantastic. We actually witnessed them walking two different RVs to talk to people, following up 
on some of the questions that they had while they were at their booth. Yep. They said, give us where you are, we'll come out and take a look at your rig and let you know. And they even just popped over by us and talked with us for a little bit. Fantastic people, I can't say enough uh, great things about them. Definitely. Uh, then the boondocking panel. Yeah, to get back to that, I was jealous that I didn't get to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I did learn, a, um, you know, a lot of cool different things. Like, I didn't realize state land trust. You can boondock on that. Mm -hmm. Now, some states, so Arizona, for example, you do have to pay for a permit. It's like $15 for a you, permit for a year. You know what it sounds a lot like? It sounds a lot like that equestrian uh, use permit that you can get in Florida for like 15 bucks because yes. that's state land as that's well. That's right. So they, they had a listing of that, and it basically they had a panel of people that have been boondocking for years, and it was just a free-for-all question and answer period for people. They talked about different apps. I will be doing a link and a whole workup on that because there was so much information again that came out on that boondocking and as you know we want to do a lot more boondocking uh, learn a lot more about it and so doing a comprehensive just separate segment mm -hmm. on that but man these these sessions are just fantastic oh a I, wealth I a wealth of knowledge speaking about those sessions yeah, today what are we doing today they actually have a uh, going to Alaska now what Session. <laughs> yeah. They must have heard me. <laughs> so they are going to give people tips and tricks of where to go, different options, um, information on camping, you name it. Supposedly it's supposed to be there. So we're going to go to that one. And then one that I know a lot of people have asked about and yeah. we struggled with for a little bit, uh, health care. Yep. So different health care options for full-time RVers. Exactly. You know, we... Uh... Uh, we have struggled with that. I have health care through the VA, uh, but Carrie uh, didn't have that option available. So we kind of, you know, bounced back and forth trying to decide what we were going to get. We finally found something that was pretty good for Carrie. But um, there's also a course here, speaking about, about uh, um, the different courses, there's another course here about vet benefits. That I, That's always been a confusing topic for a lot of veterans that mm -hmm. I've talked to and run into what am I what's open to me what's not open to me there are so many thousands and millions of dollars set aside each year for veterans that goes unused believe it or not because yeah. people don't claim it and the VA has tried to do a good job of getting it out there but it's just being at the right place in the right time to tell people what's available to them. So we're going to check out and see what they have. Here. Yeah, you know, not even uh, just VA alone, but there are a lot of state programs for veterans of True. different states. When we were in TRC, uh, Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, there was a state-run veterans home there right by the uh, oh, museum by the that we went to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's just so much out there and we'll try to, to pass that along. But I think that's a great uh, thing that they're doing here and then right after that we get to do the first of two parts for our smart way program Yep, where we load our truck up as if we're traveling So that means I'll have to be in there with the dogs along with Russ and then they'll go and weigh just our truck today Yeah, uh, so we'll do that and then they have a bunch of other services that I just found out about today so when you are at this event Let's say your awning has been sticking for a while lately mm -hmm. and you just haven't had the time while you've been on the road to do it. They have a mobile awning repair thing and I've been seeing him go oh, yeah. up and down He's the aisles. He's just driving up and down the days. aisles, yeah. Uh, pump out service, you can go up at the desk, sign up and they will come pump out. So for us, we're in the boondocking section. Mm -hmm. You save a lot of money by being in the boondocking section so if yeah. you can do that and then they will come mm -hmm. right to you you don't have to worry about doing the blue boy or anything like that so they offer that uh, mobile rv repairs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the, this one i found was interesting towing and brake inspections yeah so if you even had a question about whether you should be using a weight distribution hitch or if it's causing issues on your RV or your tow vehicle, you can make an appointment with them and they will come right to your spot. Yeah, it's, that it's was pretty cool. It's definitely cool. It's neat having so many people in, in one area because you have a lot of services that are congregating here. Obviously, they make money off of that oh, yeah. if they do that, but it's kind of a one-stop shop when you come to places like this. You know, we uh, yesterday 
Uh, in yesterday's video, you saw that I was a lucky uh, recipient of a $25 gift card to the Oink Cafe. So we That's just we had to go. <laughs> yeah, you know what was really cool is $25 uh, basically got us both meals, drinks, whatever, and a dessert. And with the tip, it only was $8 out of our pocket. And it was great food. I got the uh, hickory smoked bacon burger with fries. And oh my goodness, that thing was delicious. I got a BLT wrap. Yeah. But the best part were the maple <laughs> bacon donut holes. You have to, they have the full donuts or the little donut holes. And they are and if you walk into that place, it just smells so amazing. <laughs> so Carrie went in, I was out with the dogs, and she's got some video in there. Unfortunately, uh, technology doesn't allow us to share that smell with you, but you'll, so you have to take her word for and it. And I think, um, I think Jay, uh, NH Treasure Hunter, uh -huh. asked what he could do to get the gift card. Sorry, we ate it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't eat the gift card, we ate the stuff. Yeah, we, we ate right through that. You give us a bacon gift card. Uh, yeah, bacon. yeah, exactly. You know, uh, one thing that I really liked about those donut holes is I'm not a big sweet fan. I mean, I do like uh, sweets, but sometimes they get overpowering. But the mixture of that, that sweet donut with mm -hmm. the uh, bacon was perfect. Well, I do want to give a shout out to the Oink Cafe and thank them for supporting the Escapees Escapade yes. and for donating that as one of the prizes. And we were very grateful to receive that. So much appreciated, thank definitely. Thank you very much on that one. That was really good. I want to go back. <laughs> uh, so last night, we got into trouble a little bit. What well, did we do? <laughs> we decided to go out looking for another LGM because we hadn't seen one little yet. Little Guy Max. Yep. We didn't find any little guy Maxes, but what we ended up in was a 40 foot diesel pusher for an amazing price. I mean, we had to talk ourselves out of trying of pulling the trigger on that thing. Oh my goodness. We were wandering down and they have RV country has set up a small uh, showing of RVs that are available. Mm -hmm. And next thing we know, Vern had us inside that 40 foot diesel pusher, which gorgeous yeah I think it was an excursion yep and uh, but at one point he was even offering to trade Abby for the, the diesel machine where I said no which is <laughs> no way <laughs> we put too much time into that dog That's family right there we can't trade <laughs> but no they have some gorgeous RVs and I really think if you're looking for a deal those prices are probably yeah. better than some of the ones that I've seen that I saw at the super show. Yeah, these show prices here for for what is it, RV Country? Yeah. You know what's interesting about that is all these RVs, all these guys at RV Country. That's what they do. The they're not at from a shop. They travel from rally to rally selling these uh, RVs, yep. which brings me up, to, uh, which brings us to a neat Such story. A cool story. Listen to this. Yeah. So what happened was. They ran into these guys that are in these schoolies. Well, first of all, when Carrie and I were walking up to RV Country area looking for the LGMs, we saw these really neat schoolies. I mean, custom paint we jobs. Love schoolies. Yeah. I mean, and so the, of course that caught our eye. And this one was. These look like really I, hippie school buses, but really <laughs> cool, really cool. Uh, getting talking to Vern there at RV Country, they they are working with these guys in the schoolies. And these guys travel along with them. They just met out on the road. I guess they had out problems. Out in Quartzsite. Yeah, out in Quartzsite. They had problems with the people that were doing their uh, their detailing. So they just dropped those guys. And then these guys were, were near them in Quartzsite. And they said, heck, we'll detail for you. So these uh, schoolies have been traveling around with RV Country, detailing all the RVs when they get to the shows, when you buy it. And uh, Vern says that these guys are fantastic, hardworking, good kids, a lot of fun people. Hopefully, I w I'd like to be able to stop and talk to them at some point, so if we can catch them. I think they were out at one of the barbecues last night. Yeah, I know we did get video of those buses, so we'll have that in our Saturday video so you can see it. It's a very interesting topic there. Later today, we do get to go to the Gold Prospecting Social. Yep, a birds of the feather one. And then... There is another giveaway night tonight, and the escapades or the escapees got talent show. Yes, 
That, so that will be our entertainment for the evening. Definitely. Looking forward to that. I didn't join, but... Uh, I told him he should have brought his ook out. And go, <laughs> but there is a jam session. Yeah. So you could go to the there, jam there session. There was a jam session last night, too, mm -hmm. until 9.30. And it was so cool. When we were walking back, uh, they had this gentleman... Was it a guitar that he was Yeah, playing? it was a slide guitar kind of. Slide kinda. guitar. He was just sitting there Slack playing. guitar, something like that. Just seeing people sitting out and playing music and random. And it was just such a really nice feeling just going for the walk last night. Exactly. You know what was, was interesting about that is I walked right past it saying, oh, that's cool. And thankfully, Carrie had foresight to grab that, <laughs> the, fo the video of that. So we do have the video of that. That will be on our Saturday video as well. Usually, I'm the one that's grabbing all the I'm video. I'm better at this. Actually. Yeah, but <laughs> for some reason, I just totally blew my mind. I think it was him playing that in the sunset and, and just everything going on. I kind of got caught up in it. So... I think we should get ready and start the day. We've got about 10 minutes before we have to go hit the first session. Yep. And we want to thank you so much for following along with us each day this week. And if you have any questions, please leave them below and we will try to get to them and maybe answer them for you. We'll find the answer at the escapade. Yep. There's also a many other ways to get a hold of us. Oh, I wasn't ready to go through all that. <laughs> I all know right. you weren't. TheRoadsWeRoam.com, you can leave it on our contact page or the leave a voicemail. It's a little orange tab on the side of any of our screens. Mm -hmm. We're also on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. So get a hold of us. We'd love to hear from you. Send us those questions, and we are going to leave you with that. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.